Hi, I went to Ollie's Antique Store and got something to eat today. So, here's what I picked up and here's how our day went. I'm going to start with the ending our day with getting something to eat. So, we decided to go get something to eat and we ordered. When we got there, there was like probably between five and seven cars, but they were actually pretty quick on getting everybody through. So, when I first saw it, I was like, oh my gosh, we're going to be here for a while. And then after that, of course, there was like a bunch of people after us. But when we got up there to, we were halfway up to the speaker and we were like, we can't, you know, order just yet. So we'll have to wait until we get closer. And then we, we get up there, you know, to the um, window. And so we're waiting and I see the guy who took our order. And then I saw the, I guess the manager or whoever. She goes around him and she goes to the register. And so I'm like, oh, she must be the one going to give us the food. He's the one taking it. She's going to give it to us. And then I saw the food, they brought the food up. All of a sudden she, she opens up the window and says that they're having to reboot, I'm guessing, the um, computer, the register. And so they were like, you don't have to, she's like, I'm not going to make you wait. And then said, we can go ahead and go. And we were like confused. And the guy hands us the food and he goes, yeah, you can go ahead and go. And we're like, um, and Carol goes, we had two orders because we had two separate orders, mine and hers. And we're both just as confused as can be because we're both like she's got my card and she's got her car ready and we're both just sitting there like uh will you you know we're confused like so we're confused and they're like you can go ahead and go and gave us our food and we were like okay and we're both like while we're driving off having this conversation about the fact that we were not expecting them to say go ahead and go and they were like free food so that was nice of them not to make us have to sit there and wait forever so that was a nice unexpected surprise and a little bit surprising to us. And so we went to an antique store. They were reasonably priced. They were pretty nice. And um, when we were there, after we left, we saw another antique store that in the future we want to go to. Plus, I think it's a used bookstore. And so that would be two things we talked about going to in the future. So I bought this little vintage uh, little uh, planter. You know, a little baby nursery planter type thing. This was $9, I think. Which is not a bad price considering some of them are expensive since people collect these things now. And so I just thought that was the cutest little thing. I don't have anything like that. And so I just thought, ooh, that's just so adorable. And this is actually what I saw first. And this was $3. It's, um, you know, Mary. I have another one that I had um, gotten from Carol. And I originally had it in a different spot, and then I moved it, and so I wanted another one that I could use and have it, I could switch them back and put the one I originally had back in its spot. And so I saw this first, and it was only $3, and I'm like, I don't have any cash on me. And so I was like, what do I do? And then I saw this lovely little thing, and so I'm like, well, there I go, I have, I can get myself that for that Mary and then I can get that too and then Carol bought me this she said they had a bunch of these little plates like this one and so she she knew we had a white cat at one time so she got me this and so that was I thought that was very sweet she was like I'm sure you already saw it and I'm like no no actually I didn't I didn't know she even picked it up and now on to our Ollie's so I got these flowers they were only $4.99. So I was hoping, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with them. I think I'm going to, of course, clip them off and put them in something, you know, in like vases. I'm just not sure which vase I want to put them in. And then I bought, of course, my cats and cat toys for $4.99. I thought they would like a lot of these because the little balls, they love those. And I'll have to clip the feathers off so we don't get any fights. I was originally... Before we left, I saw a email. I think it was an hour or two before we left. And Ollie's had, had this whole, like, little animal email. And they had on there, they had, of course, the um, cat towers, which they have had before and still do. And I'm like, I don't have any room for a cat tower. And then they had um, pet beds, which I would be lost on my cats. And then they had a, um, a sunflower scratching thing. And then when I was in the store, they had a mushroom one, and I was like, I was going, does the cat, does the sunflower, 
um, move or does it stay still because I don't think my cats would like that standing up on it because I think it's like standing and I was kind of like I don't think my cats would like that standing I think that would be something they would not have fun with and so I was going I really would like to oops sorry I would really like to get them a um they had a different one I really wanted to get them and it was a um like it was flat and it was a wavy one it was like a little flat wavy one in my hand and it was a flat wavy one and I thought they would have more fun with that because they could um lay on it they could scratch it and everybody could get you know, play on it and it was only $4.99 and of course they didn't have any left I guess because when I went in, I looked all around, and I'm like, I don't see it. And we got over, I got over there, and I didn't see it. And the girl was like, it, they'll be on over there in the cat section or the animal section. And I was very disappointed because that's the one my cats would have loved. So I didn't get that. So I was a little disappointed, but hopefully in the future, maybe they'll have some more. So I thought I'd go ahead and get them that because they can never, never have too many of that. And then, um... I did get some books. Uh, these books right here that I have replaced in the show are ones that I have picked up, changed my mind, picked up, changed my mind. And this time I really didn't spend a lot of time like looking at books. I was kind of trying to decide on which ones and so I decided to kind of go with the different ones than I usually would get. And so I got finally got the Chris Jericho No is a four letter word. How I failed spelling but succeeded in life. Chris Jericho by Paul Stanley so I finally picked that one up the a tale from the land of stories the Kirby tree by Chris Colfer and illustrated by Brandon Dorman so I finally picked that one up I thought I had this one up but I figured out I didn't Cinderella when I saw it, I was like, I think I have this one. And then I'm like, I got home and I'm going, okay, good. I didn't pick that one up like I thought I did. And I think that was, oh, I missed a book. And then this one is Jessica's Promise by Jill Childs. A Missing Child, A Mother's Heartbreak. You know, apparently it's, um, this book's about asking, like, the question of do you, do you really know the people that your children, are, that you trust your children with? So I thought that was kind of neat. I saw that book once before and I kind of passed on it before. So this time I decided I was going to go ahead and I was going to grab it. And then this one is the Shakespeare Four Books in One. Henry V, A Midsummer Night's Dream, The Merchant of Venice, and Hamlet. It's a retelling of um, Shakespeare's books, Stories for Children. And here's the, another one. And it's uh, Macbeth. The Taming of the Shrew, Romeo and Juliet, and Much Ado About Nothing. I thought that was kind of neat. So it's ages 6 plus. So that was neat. Oops, my books are falling. And then I saw this Peter Pan Illustrated Classic. So I thought that was a real cute one, too. This one was new. So I thought that was kind of a neat one too to get. And then I think this might be the only Christian book I got this time. Dining with Joy. A Low Country novel. I think it is by Rachel Hawk. I'm not sure how to say that. So I kind of thought that was neat that there, there seemed to be some like little recipes in there. So I, thought, I found that out after I picked it up when I brought it home. But that's the only Christian book, like I said. I was kind of like, I didn't really see too many Christian books like I really wanted. And then I was like, I didn't know what I wanted to grab. And so I just kind of grabbed some random ones. This one was new, Mariah Carey. The Meaning of Mariah Carey. So I kind of thought that was a interesting book and then I saw these two I saw this one first and then I saw the second one In Pieces by Sally Field New York Times bestseller so I saw this one first in there and it was only $3.99 so I 
So I went ahead and grabbed that one. And then I saw Demi Moore's Inside Out. No more New York Times bestseller. And it was only $2.99. So I thought that was kind of neat too. I probably, I wasn't sure if I would have gotten these books. You know, um, in like hardback or actually going into any of the major stores. I probably would have gotten it like the thrift store. So I was really excited about that, that these were there. So I went ahead and grabbed it. I think this totaled from my thrift store, or not thrift store, my total from like, um, all these, I think it totaled up to like 50 or something. And with the discount coupon, it went, took it down to like 30 something. I think it was like 30, 31 or something. So it wasn't that much. Considering Carol's, I think, was, like, hers was up there in, like, the 50s, almost 60, and then it took hers down. She might, hers might have been more. I can't remember. <laughs> can't remember what we both prayed for ours, but we got, we used our coupons. And so, I just thought I'd go ahead and show these. And, um, like I said, it's not really that much, but what I did get, I'm, I'm glad I got. So, these are what I got. So... Thank you for watching.